Ahoy, ye mateys! Welcome back to the 41st episode of my full game walkthrough, which is also the 22nd episode I'm filming on my buccaneer. Last episode, we started helping the village of Sujimura with these Inoshishi bandits who were terrorizing them. Even though we defeated the chief, he said that the bandits have already won, which is really strange. And so we learned that they are in fact planning to attack uh, the sage, the holy sage on Yamakai. So we are now rushing to go and warn the sage of this incoming attack. I wonder what those Inoshishi bandits are up to and who's behind them. So here is Yamakai, very beautiful island. And before we head in, I just want to pick up the shonen knife really quickly before I forget. Yeah, right there. So we only have one more a knife in Koden Skyway and then we'll be moving on to the next Skyway. Wanmo, you better watch out. Welcome to Yamakai. Have you come seeking enlightenment? No, I've come to warn you. It is my hope that you are not among the ruffians troubling this sacred spot, but you do not look like an Inoshishi <laughs> bandit. Wise observation. You came to warn me of an attack. Your timing needs some work. But your intentions are without fault. Please stay a moment and enjoy a bowl of <laughs> Allow me to enlighten you with a tale of Mushu. Um, alright. All of the people of Mushu respect the Emperor, offspring of the spirit of the sun. <laughs> the Emperor's rule is wise and just. Not long ago, a necromancer came to Mushu, oh, seeking to open a magical door at the heart of Mushu, a door to a world of dragons. When the Emperor refused him the Dragon Spire Key, he was cursed into a deep, dark sleep from which he could not wake, and which grips him still. While the Emperor sleeps, evil men have risen in power and influence, and brought strife to the fair land of Mushu. Lord, wars against vassal, and the order of things was overturned. The wheel of life is turning ever slower. Oh, no. Among the greatest of the evil men to turn against the Emperor was the one known as... Uh-oh. <laughs> one most body. <laughs> of orange mud. I know it! The cave of whispers on Kaisoku Jima! Just when he was about to tell us about the great evil. Oh no. That's actually kind of creepy. Ah, oh, the corpse was so creepy. Well, we are going to barge into the ninja pig's lair and find out what happened. That was a really cool puppet show though. It's like Pirate 101 is the more down-to-earth version of the Wizard 101 story. So in Wiz you learn about Malister's uh, journey and why he wanted the key to Dragonspire. But yeah, I like the pirate version quite a bit. Wow. Oh, there's the ninja pig's lair. Where are all the ninjas? I've heard legends of how deadly they are, but so far I must admit, I'm not very impressed. <laughs> Spoke too soon. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Another pig presuming to call itself a viper. You're just a pig. You're not a viper. I wonder what the meaning of the altar is. Doctor No. Uh, the next name on the list, just below one Mo, it's Mayor Komatsu, the leader of Sujimura Village. We must save him. Oh wow, gotta rush back and warn him. Uh oh, look who is in our way. Chopper. Yeah, they don't want us to get out alive with the knowledge that we have of their list of targets.
<laughs> Dark Dancer. Something has already happened. We were just one step too late, it seems. Uh, Mayor, you are next on their list of targets. What? I have been marked for death by the ninja pigs at the behest of the insidious Doctor No. Yep. He is General So's right hand man. Oh wow. This is no small matter. You must protect me. Well, I'll try. <laughs> They're everywhere. Now, poor Sinus, <laughs> you will learn that justice also wears a mask. We fight. <laughs> poor Sinus. Looks like we came just in time to save the mayor, hopefully. Ice killer? Poison runner? <laughs> Interesting names.
Yeah. Thank you, pirate. You have saved my life. You're welcome. <laughs> Take your news to Constable Tatami. He will know what to do. All right. Tatami, we have learned that General So's right-hand man, Dr. No, is hiring ninja pigs to assassinate important people. It is unbelievable. General So has fostered the bandits who are terrorizing the countryside. And now he hires ninja? Apparently he does. This aggression will not stand. Dr. No must be brought to justice. Egg Fu Young knows where Dr. No can be found. Perhaps too much. But that is a matter for another day. Huh, interesting. Seek out Egg Fu Young in the Yakuza cave and discover how to end the threat that Dr. No and General Soul present. Will do. Back to the Yakuza hideout. Egg Fu Young, we've discovered that Dr. No is hiring assassins to wreak havoc. So it is time then to take the fight to Dr. No, General Tso's diabolical henchman? Excellent. <laughs> Evidence is not enough. You must defeat and capture No, force him to reveal what he knows, discrediting General Tso. Hmm, I see. Dr. No is aboard a flight ship which is hiding in Typhoon Vortex in the Kotan Skyway. Seek him out. He will surrender, I'm sure. Then, bring him to me. Alright. While we're sailing, let's level up our main companions. Dr. No, what do you know about General Tso? We shall question you. The crap. You have caused much trouble <laughs> for my lord, but I see now you are just another Yakuza thug. Soon you will stand powerless before me. Oh, we'll see about that. <laughs> no. Evil mastermind. <laughs> Oh, I didn't draw my buffs. Well, I'm gonna go for this one first then. Okay, now I'm in tide. Oh, 
Okay, I'm gonna put on an absorb. You start working on him. Toro, where is your dodge at? Oh, that's annoying. All right, I still don't have my strength buff. But yeah, in turn the tide and with uh, the increased weapon power I get from being on the enemy side of the ship. That's quite a lot, even though I don't have a strength buff up. Oh, that hurt though. <laughs> Okay, another guaranteed hit should finish Dr. No. Yep, so you guys just finish this guy. It's been taken? Set me free and I will return it to you. General So has it. He plans to trade it to the Armada for gold and guns. Egg, you have not been honest with me. So plans on seizing the Imperial City, ousting our sleeping Emperor, and ruling all of Musha for himself. If you set me free, I can get the map piece back. Egg has the map! Ah, uh, yeah. I guess I have Egg on my face. Pirates, I oh fear I have not gosh. been completely honest. I no longer hold my piece of Poyo's map, but we can recover it! Oh my goodness. Now is not a time for blame, but for action! You must race to General Tso's lair on the Isle of Kotan, defeat him, and take back the piece of Poyo's map! Ah, oh. Egg, I really want to slap you right now. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode! Today we fought our way through the layers of leadership in the local bandits and we learned that behind the Inoshishi bandits, behind the ninja pigs, is Dr. No, who in turn is the right hand man of General Tso. And when we brought Dr. No back to the Yakuza cave, 
we learned that Egg Fu Yang actually no longer holds his piece of Marco Polo's map, but has in fact lost it to General Zhou. So we have to track down General Zhou and fight him uh, to reclaim the piece of the map, because he plans to trade that map piece to the Armada in exchange for guns and more power. So stay tuned, leave a like if you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching!